Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48 Squirrel and I am Deb Chanel. Okay, let's get on into this story. We ain't gonna tarry too long because we gotta record some videos so I can be free this weekend to just chill unless another story comes out and I have to tell y'all about it because you know we family over him. We talk about things. We talk about work. We talk about how you felt about work, what went on in your day, if you must, if you want to sit down and talk about that. Or we can talk about family members, how they dog us out, how they treat us. And then we talk about the nice ones we can't help but get ready to meet them uh, again for like family reunions or birthday parties or hell, just going out of town and then seeing them. You know what I'm saying? Then just everyday occurrences that just get on our nerves. Um, like people jumping you uh when you're in the streets trying to ride from here to there to here and there to up and there and up and there and to uh what do you call it how my mom used to say to the valleys the hills the mountains and <laughs> the highways the byways just all of that just being stuck in traffic just getting off of work because you had got fed up with work about whatever was going on the people the environment what have you me it's always the traffic i can't get ooh, i got enough of that traffic out there it's traffic in atlanta from sun up to sun down okay it's just always somebody out there in them streets and half the time they're just going 10 and 20 miles per hour you be like get out the way get out the way move get out the way you know that song ludicrous said had a song for us or it could just be shit you just tired you know what i'm saying oh we just come on over here and talk about a salacious scandalous tantalizing story that we saw come across our media feed and we just needed somebody to talk to about it okay and that's where i come in it y'all so definitely like and share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so now why don't we get on into this story today we're going to be talking about celebrity insider and ricky mathers or mathers is over there writing for them she's a correspondent journalist whatever but she titled her article today on the real housewives of atlanta kenya moore is in the spotlight again she says kenya moore insinuates uh tanya sam's fiance is cheating now insinuating is just another word of allegedly you don't really know if it's true but you're just gonna put it out there and see if you can get somebody to go along with what you're thinking or just to get their viewpoints speculate is more so the word okay but that was her title. Um, Can you more insinuate Tanya Sam's fiance is cheating? Okay. Yes. That's on the next episode, child. She's trying to put her two cents in. Again, you know she's paid to brain drama. You're going to like it sometime. And sometime you ain't going to like it. And sometime you don't like to like it. But you like it anyway. Or sometime like me she just gives me a laugh here and there and i can tell you you know in the video uh when i'm talking about her and whether she made me laugh now her coming across to be the bone collect collector or carrier that's what she's pretty much giving us she's dropping tea here and there she's uh embellishing a little bit to make it a little bit more sens uh sensational of a storyline for her because you know she ain't got one Pretty much don't really want to uh, talk about Martin unless she bring it up. But if it's anybody else try to get a little bit more info on it, she shut him down. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, we gonna talk about it. I ain't ready to talk about it. I'm like, when are we going to talk about it, okay? When are we going to find out the truth? When are you going to tell us, Kenya, about the real McCoy, the real deal, what's going on between you and Mark, okay? But it is what it is. We already made our speculations. We already know what's going on in our minds. But... For you to give us the real, real tea. I guess we're going to have to wait on it. Okay? Ooh, excuse me. Or somebody from your camp is going to have to give us the tea. Kind of like what's happening out there right now with Jocelyn Savage and uh, what's it called it? Ariel or, or somebody, Clay or, or some, Clary or somebody like that. Azalea or Azaria. Uh, they fighting out there by R. Kelly child. I'm like, who's in and who? Fish on the hook. Now tell me, baby. Who's zooming who? Who's zooming who? Yes, that's Aretha Franklin, honey. Get into it. 
But anyway, we're going to go on to the story that Ricky Mathers had brought out for us on her platform. A celebrity insider being her boss over there. So maybe she's an uh, independent contractor over there writing nice, salacious stories for a celebrity insider. But going on into her article, it says Real Housewives of Atlanta star uh tanya sams and see that's something just reading it and i don't know if she just meant to write it like that or she knows something that we don't know wink wink she said real housewives of atlanta star tanya sams now honey for my edification uh it should have read real housewives of atlanta a uh, friend of the show, Tane Sands, but he didn't read it like that. Mm, something must be coming down the pipeline. And she may know a little something, something, but she can't really say it. Okay, but I called it, honey. I called it, Ricky. But let's read that again. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Tanya Sams is engaged to Paul Judge, who has also appeared on the show a few times. In a preview for an upcoming episode, Kenya Moore insinuates that Tanya's fiancé is cheating on her. Yes, they, that's what they say. That's what them streets are saying out there. And pretty much they're going to have it. Or maybe they already have it, but we, we didn't pay too much attention to it. But it says, doing a sneak peek for next Sunday's installment, Kenya brings up a hypothetical situation at the table. She asked the ladies if they would want to know someone in the group's significant other was cheating. Okay, now the Canterbury's and Tanya both said that they'll want some proof. Moore brings up an oddly specific example. Okay, what if they didn't hook up with them? They just basically said that the person hit on them and they exchanged numbers. This triggers Cynthia Baylor, who knows what her friend is referring to. The clip flashes back to a conversation that Kenya and Cynthia had with a woman who works at a cookie shop. Now I do remember that particular episode, but I do not remember the lady behind the counter is trying to sell them some cookies that she knew a pal. Cause you know I'm like, did y'all take several um uh, did Robert take several takes of the cookie shop uh when Kenya was over there and um Cynthia was buying cookies and having a little uh, talk time for filming purposes. I don't remember that. Now, I do remember the lady, but I do not remember them talking about Tanya's fiance, Paul Judge. Okay. Now, I don't know where they're going with this, but I guess we'll take a ride with them and see where it ends up. Okay. Oh, around and round, and where we go. Nobody knows when the wiggle stops. This is round and round, we go. No one, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but I, I, it's like a nursery rhyme or something I heard when I was at a fair or something. Round and round we go, where we stop, nobody knows, or something like that. Hell, I can't remember, but it sounded good at the time. I was just trying to make a connection. Wink, wink. <laughs> you know, I get down like that, y'all. So, I act like y'all don't know me, okay? Um, then it goes to say. The mystery woman is seen saying, so you know your boy? Oh, Paul. He kind of like was all over me. Just like buying me drinks, telling me not to leave somewhere. Although the queen of twirls did ask Tanya if she would want to know, the supermodel felt that more was being shady, meaning Cynthia. Now, see, that's what I'm saying. You got Cynthia out here saying it, and you got Kenya out here saying it. But I'm pretty sure, sh- not Kenya, Candy out here saying it. But I'm pretty sure both of y'all went to bats and talked to Andy over that Bravo Entertainment, if not uh, some of the other execs that makes uh, decisions on bringing people back that was once a part of the show or bringing people on all new all together just friends of the show you know what i'm saying but yes y'all brought kenya moore back and just like she's stabbing everybody in the back she's gonna soon come for cynthia yes and you candy so just wait give us a few more seasons we're gonna see how she's gonna try to rise like cream to the top and she's gonna make like she didn't do anything to anybody everybody just hating on her okay i'm just saying that's what she giving but anyway Cynthia was saying that her friend, Kenya Moore, was being a little bit too personal and she was being a lot of shadiness when it came to wanting to drop the bomb on her fiance is cheating on her, but she don't want nobody saying that about Ma. Now, is that a hypocrite? Is that a hypocrite person? Is that the pot calling the kettle black? Is that the baby being thrown out with the bad water? Okay, don't make sense, do it. But that's Kenya Moore's world. All right. Um. Then Bailey said in her confessionals, uh, 
this never had to go anywhere. Like I know Kenya is shady. But even for Kenya, it's like, girl, no, uh, Cynthia, no, no, no. Y'all been giving Kenya passes for the longest. You and Kenya both. What she had to do? Try to um dog you out some more and then Mark gonna tell you to leave Kenya alone or what if something she say something about Todd. Then you gonna come for a candy when you already knew what you unleashed on the other women. Okay, I'm just saying. All right, but going back to the article, it says followers followers in the comment section of the blogs that have reposted the clip are split. Some feel that Kenya is trying to stir up trouble because her marriage is over, while others feel that she is simply being a good friend by letting Tanya know what she heard about the man she is supposed to be married. Uh, what do you think Kenya motives are? Is this a case of her being shady or her intentions uh, being pretty hard hell no i'm saying can you just being shady i'm like if you really want to tell her and you really yeah that's the lady right there y'all remember when they was at the cookie shop well can you heck drop by to see um portia at her little wine belly uh, wine belly uh cellar she had opened up and uh she had stopped um to see her and whatnot and get brooklyn out for some air and then that lady called herself uh, dropping tea for Kenya to partake of, or Cynthia to partake of, or Tanya's uh, fiance, um, Paul. But like I said, I do not remember that conversation. Like she was trying to uh, tell Kenya and uh, Cynthia about, uh, yeah, Paul, you know, Tanya's fiance. He tried to hit on me, girl. I'm like, that, that, please. I was like, did they tape this somewhere else and they just didn't show us? And now they're trying to backtrack. Think of they showed it to us and we were too dumb to figure out what was going on because I don't remember that y'all y'all get in them comments and tell me did y'all see that um particular episode when they went to the cookie shop because the only thing I saw they went about cookies the lady said you know was telling Kenya they had you know a very large array of cookies and she said oh I might get this for Brooklyn's coming out uh party that I'm throwing for her I ain't see them cookies on no table or, or, uh, or nowhere, but Kenya did say she was going to get them. But, you know, it is what it is. Kenya lie here and there and everywhere. Okay, but I do not remember that lady pulling them both to the side or at least Kenya to the side saying, you know what, Tanya Sands, uh, fiance, Paul, he tried to hit on me. I don't think she should marry him. You know, something to that. Because that would have been real serious. And we would have brought Tanya on into uh, the scenes a little bit more quicker. Rather now than later. That we're seeing her now, of course. So, um, yeah, I think Kenya just using every angle she can get. Whether we like it or not. To bring in drama so she can bring up her paycheck. Uh, that's just my pun intended. Not in this article. But that's just how I feel. Now, um, let me see if I can play a little clip of the upcoming taping of the next episode they're supposed to show us. What they're really supposed to show us, that fight that's going to break out. Now, I ain't saying I want anybody to put hands on each other. But I'm like, it's time now. Y'all done made us wait, 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 wait. And we tired of waiting. We want to see some action, okay? But let's see if this clip will play. So if you suspect okay. or have heard that someone's man in the group is cheating, would you want to know? I would. It's, I definitely. I would. You? I want to know. Portia. Like, like putting his penis in inside of in somebody else. Yeah. Or yeah. dating I mean, somebody. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, right, and you right, have right, evidence. Right, want some evidence. Real evidence. Yeah, well, absolutely. if a woman came up to you and said this stuff. Here. Yeah, and, and it's the woman who is accusing them. Yes, I would not want to know if people were going around saying that. But what if they didn't hook up with them and they just basically said that the person hit on them That's and they exchanged cheating. numbers? It just puts me in a really uncomfortable spot because I'm actually privy to this information. And you know, there's a cute little cookie place right here. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you, ladies? Right. So you know your boy, uh, Paul? Yes. Nothing but okay, and that's when it cut off. Now, I personally still do not remember that particular episode because if they would have dropped or she would or they would have showed us that footage, you know, Kenya and Cynthia would have been talking about Tanya at that particular time. Hell, I think they they taped this part and they kept it from us, and then they try to make us feel like we stupid because I wouldn't want to hear nothing about uh, Cynthia being thirsty over there if somebody dropped that kind of tea. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bravo. 
Don't be fooling nobody. Y'all ain't fooling nobody, honey. Y'all trying to show us that clip now, but y'all didn't show us that clip before. Because them sitting down, talking about this, that, and the third, and uh, Cynthia being thirsty about Mike. Hell, it would have all been about Tanya. And where did they get the, Who going to tell Tanya that her little man over there is cheating on her? Because personally, I think the man got a little sugar in his tank. Or well, he may go a little both ways, but he just giving that little... Uh, gayness out and ain't that wrong with it. let me say that now whoever love on who whoever but let everybody know what players is playing in the game and what role they paying okay because i don't like these men to be on the down low you know like i still want to have the life that society say i supposed to live to be able to you know be flourishing out here in my professional life as well as my personal life but i still like to partake on this type of behavior with this type of same gender type of situation well when you want to do all that please let your spouse your partner your girlfriend know this prior to you doing it on your own and hoping she won't find out about it because then you're not looking out and you don't love her you're not looking out for her and you don't love her okay but that's all I have for this particular video, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about they trying to sneak a little scene in that they uh, want to think we had saw prior. I'm like, no, because I know I would have did a story on that. I'd be like, wait a minute. We ain't got time to talk about no coming out party for Brooklyn. We need to investigate this thing for our cool girlfriend, Tanya. We need to find out whether or not because she is the source of the information and she's making the accusation so we need to bring tanya down to this cookie shop so she can get all of her feel in so whenever her boyfriend fiance paul judge come back to town we definitely gonna set him up honey and we're gonna have miss lady if we have to go down well he, he probably know about the cookie shop so he wouldn't want to go there but we would have her meet us at the old lady g uh gang uh, little restaurant uh, some kind of restaurant we could have got us our hands on on peace street and we would got that taper off and popping tanya would have been tearing up stuff around there, and i would have just been sitting there looking i would have been looking <laughs> you know i'm like okay tanya that's enough let go girl we don't spoil him so either you're gonna accept his philandering ways or you're gonna make a um cut it out type of scenario and let your tears flow right now but the song will come up in the morning and we're gonna march on to another whole tune all right because you're too intelligent too beautiful to be sitting up here you don't waste it uh, how many years i think it was like 12 hell it might have been 20 some years i'm not really sure honey but mm -mm, you don't need no man like that that's gonna hold you back and not gonna be yours and only yours shall i please Anyway, y'all get in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think about Kenya. Y'all think she's still stirring the pot, over and cooking the drama that she want to bring. And she feel like she the only one that can bring drama true tea. I mean, shouldn't she be up in that woman's ass about Tanya, meaning her so-called friend of the circle? Shouldn't she been up in that woman's ass? Somebody, I know you ain't talking about my friend. I know you ain't trying to say he hooked up on you. Did you hook up on him? You know, playing like that. So she was trying to talk all that mess with uh Yovana and everybody else that tried to come in their little circle. How she was calling somebody. No, nah, I don't know him like that. I don't know her and all this kind of stuff. Chaplin. But like I said, get down in them comments. Let me know what y'all thought about uh subject matter. And I'll see y'all next video. We'll discuss as usual. We will discuss as usual. Good night, fam. Bye-bye. See you next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.